good. Okay, we're going to call the meeting to order, please. Lisa Sunshine Law announcement. As required by the Court Meetings Act of 1975, I've noticed the meeting of the Marlboro Jamie Court Meetings Act of 1975, the 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 Court Meetings Act of Right there's five, I think. Yeah. Right. Uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Don't go away, Wayne. While you're here, we want to present to you from the uh, township committee and the township residents. Uh, to go into executive session uh, regarding the uh, affordable housing uh, in compliance with the uh, Mount Laurel third round affordable housing obligation. John tells us 30 minutes. He's an attorney, so let's figure 45 minutes. <laughs> Sound good? Anybody want to make a motion? For the record, I said 30 minutes if there's no question. <laughs> now we're asking questions. Do we have space for that? We didn't set it at this time now. Okay. Looking for a motion? I'll make a motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Can I ask everybody to step out? I guess. What do we can do? <laughs> How many? Oh, we did. <laughs> uh, no, we got, we're holding one the final check. But it's getting close. And you said it's going here. We think you can clean out that pipe. Is that done? I think so, yeah. John, I, I was not there. So yeah, I, I don't have to read the whole thing or just read the last uh, paragraph. Just the last. I don't know. I mean, it's in my own question. Was it in the plan to tap the line when we got it out? Yeah. It was in the plan? Well, it wasn't in the plans, probably in the spec, that, that the pipe can't be open, kept open. Because uh, if that's the case, then this is what the builders should take for it. Well, and again, yeah. no, and then here's the problem. I talked to Jeff about this. He tends to he capped it off. And, it kept, and, and, well, and I don't know. Well, I, 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 I can't ever remember seeing it capped off, so I don't know. I'm not saying he did. I didn't know that. But, okay. Well, then. I did that by a 10 times. Okay. Well, then you you would know. I mean, we're talking about the piece. The, the, the conduit in the back when it came to the transfer. No, we're on. No, no, no. No, no, no. We do an answer the region. We do the remotion Good? Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go back into uh, session. Everything's on? Yep. Everything's on. I'm looking for a motion to come out of executive session. I'll make the motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Frank, you have a motion? You okay. Um, at this time, I'd like to make a motion. Um, but before I make the motion, um, just a little recap on you know, what the town's been looking into over these past several, several weeks. So as everybody knows, I know a lot of you here, 
um, because of the affordable housing situation. And, um, you know, there were two other options presented to us. Uh, we call them option B and option C. Option B, which is um, negotiating with a developer to provide the affordable housing in exchange for some warehousing. That option's still on the table. That's not off the table yet. Um, option C is to rezone a portion of another piece of property in town. Um, can we say the name of the property? Yeah. It's called the Dowell Track. It has a sewer. So rezone that portion. Um, to um, portion of that. a portion of that property to, was it how many acres? 15 acre portion of the Dowell site, which is block 36, lots 2 and 3, for a 300 unit inclusionary residential development that will include a set aside of 60 affordable units. So what this option C does is it removes basically half of the units off of the Dumont site. So instead of getting the 121, we're looking at 61 over there. Now they're going to be 61 rental units. The reason they would be rental units is because we need to make them rental units in order for a developer to come in and build them for the town. If the town, you get 25% of the township's number under the code second round rule would have to be family rentals. So 25% of 204 is 52 units. The reason why they, it, get, it can't just be 52 units or split between two sites is because to have to get a developer to do this without the township putting in any money other than potentially deeding the piece of property to the developer for a dollar. They have to get 9% tax credit from the Housing Mortgage Finance Agency, and they are not give 9% tax credits unless it's a 100% family rental development. That's why all 61 units have to be family rentals. Right. The other thing, just to keep that in mind, so if the town didn't get a developer to do it and we had to do it on our own, talking about the $10 million estimate on the town having to build it on our own. So the Land Use Board recently voted for option C, which is what we just explained, right? Half the units, so rezone. And that's correct. They recommended to you guys. I'll take the attorney's advice on that. It was, and it was a unanimous recommendation. So um, we're now ready to, to uh, support that. I'm going to make a motion to support the recommendation from the Land Use Board. But just, and I think we have the support for it, and we can talk about it. So uh, before I say it, I just want to mention this. I've been to other towns where people have come down, and they asked their, um, their government for help, and the government didn't help them. So I hope everybody sees that um, this town committee did hear you, and we're trying to help you. And we had these two options open up to us, and the reason that we did pursue them was because we heard what you, you were saying, and we're trying to be responsive to it. So, with that being said, um, I want to make the motion to direct the planner and attorney to direct the planner and attorney take all actions necessary then redirect. Take all actions necessary um, to support this resolution, which says now, therefore, be it resolved by the board on August eighth, two thousand eighteen, that the board recommends that the township committee pursue affordable housing option C in place of affordable housing option A, but that the township committee remain amendable to other affordable housing options. Looking for a second. I'll second. Any questions, comments, discussion? Roll call. May I ask yes. Mr. Yes. 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 Okay. There's another aspect of this here. Now that you've directed CCH, Clark Kitten Hinks, and my firm to take all actions necessary to pursue affordable housing option C, now my firm and best firm have to know which of the 50 acres of the Dowell site do you want us to include in the draft plan that's going to have to be prepared, sent to the land use board after a public hearing, and then become part of an ordinance. And um, I understand that there's going to be a memo that was addressed to me from Beckman's manager, Daniel Halgen, dated August 16, 2018, is going to be placed on the township's website tomorrow. So people can read a um, very short one-page memo with some maps attached to it. And in there, Beth identifies two options of which 50 acres and has recommended option one 
Um, can someone make a motion to tell FLI which option, option one or option two, you want us to, um, let's say, put at the top of our list when we put this, all this stuff together? I make a motion. A second. Oh, for which option? Okay. Option one. Um, one. You second? I second option one. Questions, comments, discussion? John, can you just explain that even though we would be recommending one of the options that it doesn't lock us into? <clears throat> Not until the night of the public hearing before the Human Traffic Land Report, which we'll put this out here also. I put together a schedule of what Beth and I think it will take to change this plan, go with option C, and get a fair share to agree and sign an amended settlement agreement and to have all the municipal actions that are necessary. So the tentative schedule is by August 31, we hope to have a draft of an amended 2018 housing element fair share plan on file in the land use board office, which would reduce the Dumont Road development from its current number of units down to 61 units, still 100% family rental, and add a 15 acre portion of the Dowell site, a 300 unit inclusionary development with a 20% set aside for 60 units. Now, that has to be on file because that has to be on file at least 10 days prior to the public hearing held on that amended 2018 Housing Element Fair Share Plan, which the way I put the schedule together for this to work, that hearing has to take place on September 12th. So mark your calendars. Wednesday, September 12th, what we're planning on having a land board have a public hearing on that amended Housing Element Fair Share Plan, which will be on file. And presumably, we'll have that either a link to it if it's too big to uh, just download or give to people or a link to it on the website. The night of that public hearing, what I envision is in the Housing Health and Care Care Plan, having shown both options one and two, so the night of the hearing is the night that they're going to have to decide which one it is. Now, they're probably going to want to know what the Township Committee's preference is. From tonight, unless you're willing to delegate that to them to decide on their own, they have the right to, to do what they want in any event, but do you want to give them a preference or not? I, I know that your preference, at least out of the box, was one. Do you just want to read it that way, that they know that your preference is one, or you... No, we got a motion, though, right? Isn't that the preference? Yeah, that's, that's the preference. Yeah, we already have a motion. Yeah. Okay. So the land use board, though, <laughs> September 12th is a date that that becomes set in stone, and then September 20th, we envision having the Township Committee introduce an amended MF1 ordinance because it would cut the density from Dumont Road from between 121 to 144 down to 61. Introduce an MF2 ordinance. The MF2 ordinance is going to be the ordinance governing the 50 acres at Dowell. And the Affordable Housing Regulation Ordinance, which was introduced before, we'll just reintroduce it without any change. Three ordinances, three ordinances introduced on September 20th. The Township Committee also, on September 20th, would endorse the 2018 Housing Element Fair Share Plan. The Township Committee would also, hopefully, be authorizing the mayor to sign the Second Amendment Settlement Agreement with Fair Share, making this change. All that on September 20th. October 10th, the Land Use Board then has to do a consistency review of the three ordinances that were introduced on September 20th. Not to let any surprises out or anything like that, but if the Land Use Board adopts an amended Housing Element Fair Care Plan on September 12th, and if the MF1 ordinance, MF2 ordinance, and the Housing Regulation Ordinance are consistent with it, which it should be since that's the same person who's in the draft of it, most likely the land use board would find that it's not only not inconsistent with the master plan, but totally consistent. Then, October 5, notices would be published in the newspaper and would be mailed to all 
property owners within 200 feet of the Yuma Road lot and on property owners within 200 feet of the entire Dallas lot, not just the 50 acre portion of it. Advising everyone that the township will conduct a public hearing on the three ordinances on October 18th, 2018. That's the plan to get this done to switch from option A to option C. Now, having said all that, I built in, I'm not going to call it that, I built in one month extra time. Why? In case, in while this is going on, the Council Committee has also said that we're supposed to remain amenable to other affordable housing options. I'm not identifying any particular one, but the obvious one would be option B. So if option B, if subtraction, if an actual proposal is submitted with an actual concept plan that can be reviewed, I built in that month to give enough time to try then to further switch from option C to option B. Well, you want to say in my ear you want to mention. Well, so you want to mention the meeting schedules in the record, all the regular meetings. Yeah, all the regular meetings. There's no special meetings. The reason we wanted to bring out option one tonight to vote on it was to make that document public so it can go on the website so people affected on the Beatty's Road side can see and maybe come in and come up with some alternatives. That's the reason we wanted to vote on option one. We have to reappoint the sub? There was a motion pending. Oh. Is everybody done with the comments and questions? Are you done, John? Yeah, I was done. Roll call. Yes. 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 Okay, now there's one last thing. When the MF1 ordinance, when the MF1 ordinance was first being developed, there was some dissatisfaction with it. And so what the Tennessee Committee did was appoint a committee. Different, so this is going to be a different committee from the negotiating committee that was appointed for option B. There was a committee appointed to sit with Beth, not with me, and work out the kinks in the MF1 ordinance. My suggestion is that you guys make a motion to appoint the same committee with maybe a, Frank told me that he has, he wants to add one person to it and have that committee immediately sit down with Beth. Don't wait until she gets the first draft of the MF2 ordinance out. Sit down with her and talk about it so that the committee can work with her while she drafts the MF2 ordinance for Dallas. And to work on the RFQ. Yeah, and to work on the RFQ for Dallas. No, for Duma. I'm sorry, for Duma. Does someone want to make a motion to appoint me now? The COA committee already exists. No, he says we have to redo it because the goal of the first committee was MF1. Now the goal is MF2. So we need to reappoint that. Yeah, that's it. Correct. Just to expand its scope. Its scope is going to be not only MF1, because MF1 is going to be cut down in density, but also helping create the MF2 ordinance and having, hoping with the input on the RFQ. So someone makes a motion, but then you have to name the people to the committee. All right, so I'll make the motion to appoint the committee. It's the same committee we had last time, plus one addition. Actually, we'd like to make two, but the other person went around. Which consists of, from the town committee, myself, myself, Bob Barson, from the Land Use Board, Joe Fiamma, Bruce Williams, Don Marie Congress. And I'd like to add, I actually would like to add two, but one of them is kind of out of town. We're trying to get representation from the Dumont site and the Baby site. Well, why don't you just appoint the two, and if the person says no, you can then replace the two. I don't have his name available right now, so I'll have to amend it. But I'd like to also add to that list Brian Baylor. Brian, how do you spell Baylor? B-A-Y-L-O-R. So I'll make the motion for those appointees. Okay. Anybody want a second? No, I'll second. Okay, I'll second. Any questions, comments, or discussion? Roll call. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. If you want me to 
Sit down after the first public session. Yeah, you might as well. I'm going to look for a motion now to open up public comment. I make the motion. We want a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone wish to make any public comments? Come up to the podium. Try six or three minutes. There's a lot of people tonight. We don't want to, you know, cut anybody out who wants to talk. So. <coughs> We'll take positive comments, so that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll get some positive comments once we're done with this. Uh, good evening. Uh, I'm Tim Johnson for the District Court. Uh, first, I would like to call your attention, not only what we're talking about right now, but in the next slide, we have a lot of things. Uh, right now, it's a project going on in our town, specifically as it relates to Breaking up our roads, uh, putting uh, water lines, okay, so, okay. I mean, I don't know about any other residents, but I feel when I drive on the roads after they have been brought on, it's like I am on great adventure, one of those water lines, okay. Uh, okay. I am pretty sure. These folks that uh, they were assigned as the ability to install the water lines on our, on our properties, okay, uh, they were supposed to, I'm pretty sure, and if that's not the case, that's something wrong in the way that the, the, the arrangement has been set up, they were supposed to return the roads in the condition in which they found them. Well, I can tell you, the roads are in horrible shape. Somebody has to look into it to take action immediately. I'd like to have some comment. The some of you have already experienced it already. That, that's a very fair comment, and I agree with you. Um, but there's a big part of this equation maybe you're not aware of or familiar with, and that's the following. Right now, they are just doing the water main installation. They still have to come back and do all the service today. The, the road as it exists right now is uh, not the smoothest road. I take it, I live on Arbor Drive, so I'm very familiar with the roads in question. Uh, what you have now is basically a temporary patch over the trench just for the short term It'll be a few months, aren't you? Until all the mains are in and the services are in. Then the roads will be uh, either paved half width from because if you notice the, the the water main is either on the left shade is to the left side of the road or the right side of the road, depending on the road. So where you see that main and that trench, that will get a, a no and an overlay. So I can guarantee you that it will be considerably better than it is. Like on paper. Real pinto. The same? That is part of your contractual obligation. It doesn't have non-paper. Oh, oh, my God, yeah. Absolutely. Well, somehow the, 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 the public has not been informed about it. The, the, what, the, the what? Has, the public has not oh, been informed about Right? Well, Right? I can't say that. I thought well, the public I, didn't I, I, am, I am a resident, and I don't know about it. No, no. Well, no. I, I'm, I'm a very smart dog. I, I, I know that. Okay. Have you been to some of the, the meetings before? I don't know about this, sir. There, there, there are means to communicate. No, no, no. Not the these meetings. The, the prior meetings specific to the OU2 project. I don't want to take the Okay. Okay. Number two. Uh, I have a question. I noticed that a policeman find the road while this one is going on. So the question that I have is this. Who is paying for this policeman servicing the project, which is not really uh, a township project? Are we really subsidizing a, a, a private project uh, with our tax money? No. No. Okay, so please explain. Well, Rio Tinto is reimbursing for all that as well. The contractor? The contractor pays for it, all that. It, that's actually not the contractor. It's the, the pollutant, the contaminant. No. So we're getting from the same for, 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 for the 
Tosh, can I stop you there? So I think you came in a little late. I don't know if you saw that we voted for option C. Uh, you might have missed that. Can you hurry up? We've got people behind you who want to talk. Yeah, we're moving on it. We're moving on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, so that, the, uh, you were asking about 100%. That's a different reason for 100% rental. Yes, why couldn't rental be more No, he said, why couldn't we make them all owned? 
Uh, no, no, no. I just want to be clear, though, because even if it could be 25 percent, we still wouldn't go with just 25 percent on Duma. Because, because that's why I think that's what you want to know. But you want to know. We, you might have missed it. We explained it, right? So in order to get a developer, you got to make them rentals. That, that's the reason. It's to save the town $10 million dollars. In a nutshell. And on the other side, under option C, we definitely need to open it. No, that all depends, right, on the developer. By setting a 20% set aside for it, the developer, if they went with a rental property with a 20% set aside, Probably not going to make the money for 20% we're allowed to do under the total rules, so we're doing 20% actually pushing to a more salient. Thank you. Just a quick statement of fact, meaning for the justice. That is factual. I do know, I spoke with uh, Judge Conkey, um, Upper Saddle River. Upper Saddle River was able to get only owner occupancy. No reference. Just thought I would mention that. No, no, sir, it's true. Are you the attorney? Oh, you're Saddle River. Saddle River. Did I misspeak? Nope, not Saddle River. I don't know what you're talking about. Is he in judge? He's working? No, he's now retired. Oh. Working um, for the Department of Public Safety. I do not remember the name of the firm. I would have to. He represents Upper Saddle River. He represented folks from Upper Saddle River. In this, and or in this third round of litigation up in Bergen County or in the previous round? Now I am not certain. I, I would have to, I will not mistake, but I simply wanted on record that Upper Saddle River was able to get no rentals. And Joseph Conti was well, not going to be of record if you don't know if that's Yeah, it can't be of record. I do not want to mistake my facts. The fact, however, is that Joseph Conti was able to work for Upper Saddle River and no rentals. Hey, by the way, that's Houston. Forget about the fact that she's not under oath, but she's saying what a former judge told her, so I don't put much weight in it. But that's uh, how about this? John, why don't you follow up on it and find out? Could you follow up and find out? I thought I would throw that out. Yeah, we'll look into it. I don't think any, I think people would rather own units if we could do it. Um, yeah, but John, we have a settlement agreement. Yeah, I think, you know, listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post to look into it. Yeah, why not? We'll look into it. <coughs> Sorry, the point I'm trying to make is, even if Check it out. Camera, That's right. we have a settlement agreement that says 25%, the 204 has to be rental. Is that correct? Yeah, and there's a code, second round rule that says that also. But let me check it out. Let me check it out. But I just want to state that. If I am wrong, please. No, that's okay. Me yeah, you know, I do not want to possess incorrect information. That's fine. You brought it to our attention. I need to yeah. speak with um, Joseph Cox. Okay. Is that an area code 201? What, you want to put that on public? Why don't you give it to you after? <laughs> don't put it in. Don't put it on public. Why don't you just get? Why don't you get it after? <laughs> Can I have a retired judge's phone number in public? <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. How you doing?
to preserve, protect, and enhance the visual character of the community, to establish design standards for new development so as to minimize the view and visual impact of new development. The report, of course, is, is available. It, it is our report. Because of this, I bought a house on this road four years ago, assured of the fact that the town itself felt that the area that I lived in was important enough to note it as being a scenic byway. The fact that we have birds migrating in that field. I would, nothing short of beg you all, I know that this is coming. I understand that. I would strongly say that I do not want warehousing in that area if I could get all possible. But I'm asking that whatever happens across the Davies Road, that you keep these values in mind, that you all have stated that you are going to do everything for whatever goes to that spot to minimize the impact that it has on all of us. And don't just let anything be stuck there just because we have to meet the so many houses be available. Please put stipulations on whoever develops that property to be sure that we have plenty of visual barriers from all of this because we are used to looking at fields and mountains and ball fields. And that's what's so unfair to me is that I don't mind it being there. But please don't make it. I mean, you're already rezoning. Please don't make it industrial. Don't put semi-trucks on this small little road that we already, whenever we have an accident on 78, we get all of 78 on Davies Road. It cuts through South Main onto Davies and onto 173. We have tour buses. We have semi-trucks. We have bumper-to-bumper cars whenever something happens on 78, which is more frequently than not. It's a danger to the children in the area that are coming from the ball field when they're leaving. We have drag races down Davies Road because it's so unsupervised. Sorry for the police. But, I mean, they really started to talk of Davies and Lord. But I think that you have it in your power. Things that can help us make this adjustment. Please don't just let them come in and put anything there. Please put enough stipulations on the building that we have visual barriers that are going to be available to whoever comes in. There has to be either a setback. There has to be some other way besides one entrance on the Davies Road. Make it, make it come on to 173. Or do something with the traffic pattern so that it's not unsafe for the children that are playing on the ball field or for high speeds happening on Davies. And that's what I just want to say. Thank you. Thank you.
uh, means we get more seventy eight over there. Um, so I'm just you know, you know, I'm concerned about the traffic, I'm concerned about the value, uh, and, and the safety of the kids and just, you know, what what's gonna happen with uh, with congestion and stuff over there, especially, you know, you put those those units along with uh, with an incident on seventy eight or or uh, you know, construction on seventy eight or what have you. And uh, the impact will be greatly uh, felt on that side of town. Thank you. 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 Uh, this has to be a joint standing <laughs> I was never the one to stand up and say not in my backyard, you know, Dumont Road is legitimately squarely among anyone in this room in my backyard. Um, it's true. And, and, and I understand her frustration. In June, when I first received notice, I was blissfully unaware of local politics, even though I work in this town and know some of the players. Um, and I felt like the rug was torn out from under me as a lot of my neighbors did. A lot of them turned to me because I know law, but not this area of the law, so that was also frustrating. But we turned to this town, and I think what hasn't been said tonight is what you guys have done, okay? We turned to this town furious. We turned to this town for answers. We had questions. It's a complex legal issue. It was difficult for me with my legal training to explain to neighbors with good presentations. You guys have looked at other options. In a time where you can't turn on the news without seeing the complete polarization of uh, politics, our local town, um, I think, has, been, has done an exemplary job at listening to the criticisms, the concerns of people. And now you guys had to step back after looking at this issue for like a decade, apparently, and, and hear the anger and frustration of all the people that are just getting on board and understanding the laws, right? You guys have taken a lot of criticism, some fair, some unfair. But to not, to not have someone stand up today and say, listen, you guys have not only refreshingly owned up and said, we could have done better at giving notice to town residents. We could have done better at getting input. Let's fix that. And as a resident of Newmont, right in my backyard, all I was asking for is to spread this out. We don't have the density so much. You guys have come up with options for that. More than happy with option C, particularly if it doesn't put someone else on the other side of town in uh, the same predicament I was in two months ago. Um, all I was asking for is to share the responsibility. You guys have listened to comments, been thorough in explaining different options on a very hard subject. Um, and I just want to commend you, and I think that town council will get enough recognition for the jobs they do above and beyond the issues that bring out the folks in the seats, the things you guys do, the kind of takes away from your families, and the love you have for the town when you do it. Um, we, I said it last time, I said it the time before, this is a tremendous town, it's a tremendous community. Um, you guys have done a good job since I've been involved at representing uh, this great community. I just wanted to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Another thing I wanted to say, and this is kind of like a, uh, a thing I thought of as I was driving. Fillsport Mall obviously is having some issues. Uh, mm -hmm. My wife travels to Fort Township to their community center because it's state of the art. I mean, she's doing in there. My kids do um, swimming at Bethlehem Township. Uh, a lot of the new developments have these type of things. Is it out of the question to have different districts, different townships, low patterns? come together for a bigger site like Hillsburg Mall and look at it as a possible community site. Um, it, it's, it's kind of like uh, located square in the middle of a lot of us. Um, it's becoming uh, an eyesore. Um, it's difficult to shop when every three out of the four shops are closed down and there's you walk around the buckets collecting the rain. Um, why can't that be a community center that all the different towns get from? The irony of your question? 
I hear that's where Paul Hart's going to put their affordable housing. <laughs> right behind it. And that's good. I don't know if that's fact, but that's what I've heard where they're affordable housing. Yeah, but ironically, that, that's what I've heard that they're going to reconfigure some of the retail out front and put the affordable housing behind it. So that's what I heard. Maybe they can flip the rental Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Anyone else?
whether we go with A, B, C, whatever, I know that I'm, I'm feeling from being a women's farm development owner that the traffic patterns on uh, Greenwich Road are increasing. I don't think it to be limited to too high. I think that it comes, it comes from 40 up to 50, the down to 35 and 25. Personally, I don't think that road should be that high. In the school and now the brand new park, I really think considering this new development as well, if there's anything our town can do to kind of bring that speed on it down and keep it a little more consistent, closer to 45, 30, some maybe even 40 the whole way. I don't know, but something better than 50. Personally, I think once it hits 50, it's really sad. I pull out of my development to come here to the TA and I'm lucky I don't get to find a car and have to call coming down. Very, you know, people are just hitting that area like that park a lot faster than they could on top of the speed limit. So whatever it is, they're moving five to ten over. Um, and that's just typical. Um, also, probably feeling the same way. If we end up adding more businesses down there, uh, developments down there, 173. I also feel like getting blocked with the, um, 78 to make the left hand turn on 173 and come into the Greenwich development. I find that a very difficult way to go as well. People are flying through there and you added more of that traffic around to the it's a dangerous area. And um, I'm not saying that people shouldn't speed. I come on the speeder sometimes too a little bit, but I really think that it should be you know, no, you're going to mention it. If you can do anything, if you have any say in it. We can't say that that's county road, but we did send a letter in the last year over that because that, exactly that problem because it goes 30, 40, 50, then down to 40. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we've been looking at that already. But, Mike, you got the answer, or is that it? No, it was going to yeah. just bring We've the been in contact with the county over that because it's been a. The township petition for the county to reduce the speed on this. Right. On, on, the, on the 50 mile an hour section, obviously. Exactly. So that's that's the following reason? Yeah. Huh? So that's the following reason? It's the county. That's about a year ago. It's the county. It's the county. It's the county. And the other. Uh, well, the exit ramp, that's very dangerous, and I agree, but here's the issue with that, and I've brought this up many times. We've got a couple spots, and we send letters to the state DOT all the time about it, but the threshold for them to really address the issue is pretty high. Like, you can, we send them after fatality, fatal accidents from different places and stuff, and they're looking at it from a statewide perspective, and they're saying, well, you had two there in the last 10 years. We're going to address one where we had 17 in the last seven years. So we really fall down. But we've, we've sent numerous letters about 173 issues already, too. And that's about as much. We can't set uh, speed limits on county and state roads, obviously. Is it the cost of the signs? I think we can come up with a couple of dollars to buy new signs, really. Uh, I, I think the traffic engineers have formulas they follow. I still like, yeah. right? I mean, well, I appreciate listening to me. And again, thank you so much for the job. Just a few years from consider something else. Yep, thank you. Moving in this tournament, 7871 window. I'd like to thank this committee also for everything that we've done. I've been here a little over 29 years. There have been people up there who we had something to say. They just smirk at us and not even let us talk. I know you guys do a really hard, a lot of work. But I understand that this has to come. I agree. We just need to make it fair and distribute it more throughout the township and keep all your options are open and try when you're picking to pick the best one for all of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Joe Van, 21 Red Hawk Lane, from Stony Derby. I also want to thank you all for your efforts uh, in guiding us through this process. I know it's been difficult. Uh, just, I'm just going to second Scott uh, Hale's comments about how he left and where he left.
you guys to consider the limits that are going to be built there. The whole purpose for this, I think, was to help reduce the number of units, and it seems that we went from 140 to 300 units, and it's very concerning to me as a homeowner. We've got a few years that have made a financial commitment to the area. Thank you. 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 Anyone else? Motion passes. A second. All in favor? Aye. Can we leave? I guess so. Where are we at? Okay. Looking for a motion to approve the regular meeting minutes for June 21st and July 19th together, unless somebody has an amendment for one. No, I didn't get a chance. I'm going to abstain. I didn't get a chance to look at it. I wasn't here for July 19th, so I'm going to abstain from that. So I guess we're going to have to separate them. Yeah, let's separate them. So I'll make a motion. We accept the June 21 meetings. Can I do a second? I'll second it. Any comments or questions? You know what? Roll call. I don't think you have the votes. Yes. Yes. Abstain. I have to abstain. I was absent. I believe I was absent that meeting. You're not only abstaining because you didn't. I didn't get a chance to review them. So we'll just table the next meeting. Table it. Yeah, we'll table it. And then I'll make a motion. Well, I can't make a motion for July 19th. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of July 19th. And then once again. Somebody want a second? I'll second it. Abstain. Yes. Abstain. Yes. Abstain. Okay, so you're going to have to table it until the next one. You don't have to ask me. Treasurer's report, the oldest bill list. Anybody have a... Anybody want to make a motion to... I do want to withhold the Samson bill. To discuss? To discuss. Okay. But it's not on executive, so how does that get handled? We just get out to executive. Okay. It's a factual matter. All right. The only thing you can't do is if you knew about something and then say, oh, we're going to wait until we drop it. No. Okay. Okay. So is that... Does anybody want to make the motion to pay the August bill list with the exception of the Samson bill? Samson excavating? You see... Hold on a second. Mike, you said that bill was in here for the sewer vac truck to clean out that line. I wouldn't know. Bill for the sewer vac truck? That's more of a joke. What's that? Has the bill been submitted yet for the sewer vac truck that you used to clean that truck? Yes, it should have been in there or maybe an open space would be open. Yeah, I don't know that I saw one, but I didn't review every DPW bill. That was between sewer and sewer and sewer and sewer, right? No, they sucked out the electrical line because... Oh, okay. Who was it? Who was it? Russell Reed? I think it might be waiting for the open space. Yeah, I don't think that's... If it was being made out to Russell Reed, there's not anything in this bill list for Russell Reed. No, I reviewed it, so... If that bill was in here, I wanted to see the the respects to see why that pipe was never capped and if it's the contractor's fault or somebody else's fault why that pipe filled with mud and water we're not being capped by a telephone pole it should be the person who did it up's responsibility to pay that bill not us the the mud well the mud anyway is from the other end not the pole end but it's full of water too yeah but water it's easy enough to solve. I mean, as far as... Yeah, we're, on, we're, we're on the bill list. Right. That's not in here. We're looking for a motion to pay the August bill list with the exception of Samson Excavating. Anybody want to make that motion? I'll make the motion to pay the bill with the exception of Samson. Anybody want to second? I'll second it. Any questions, comments, or discussion on the bill? That's what I said. Okay, roll call. Yes. 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 Tax collector's report. Uh, I'd like to make a, a motion to accept the tax collector's report and their sewer report from Bonnie Funnel. Um, I'll second that. Anybody have any questions or comments or discussion on it? Roll call. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Did you want to do these all at the end of the consent agenda? Is that what you wanted to switch to tonight? Or are you okay with doing it this way? We should do tabs. Okay. Okay. Police Department. Chief. I think that Pittman schedules was helping reduce some of the uh, overtime? Uh, a great deal, yes. But also we have the, the additional office, of, but, but the Pittman schedule, yes. And it's doing, it's doing a, a great job with um, the way we are scheduling. Um, and uh, that additional officer will be being not for the detective, you can follow up on it. So uh, it's time that has to be focused on covering the road and whatnot. A lot of topics on communication tonight. <laughs> I just want to thank you for uh, National Night Out. You did a good job. It was nice to see everybody up there working together. And, you know, I never even think of it. Uh, 
I'd like to thank you for coming to the meetings because you're, I don't think people understand that you're under no obligation to be here. There's nothing in your contract requiring you to be here. You just always come and give your report every month and respond to residents. And uh, I'd like to thank you for that, and we appreciate it. You, you do it without compensation. It's not, you know, so uh, I, I just never gave a thought to say when you're talking. I always thank everybody else for giving their reports, and I guess I've neglected you. So I just want uh, uh, to uh, Uh, we appreciate your, your paying attention there. Thanks a lot. And, and, oh, and the emergency squad, I don't want to forget the emergency squad for our national right now. Mm -hmm. They're there as well. Uh, again, just like the FR department, they're uh, there for help us put on the events to our overtime calls, our manpower to put out there, and uh, you're involved. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. 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 I'll make a motion we accept the police department July report. Second. Any questions or comments? I assume no. Roll call. <coughs> yes. 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 Department of Public Works. <coughs> okay, I'll be brief because some of them are leftover things that I haven't gotten to, like the gas pump system and the solar uh, project. We got up to, uh, Will and I have to sit down and meet with one other uh, gentleman about the solar here. Uh, Paul was the best. He's been too busy with other things to step down from that. So I'm going to hold Will so we can sit down both of them. The soccer season started here. We're starting to get the field set up for them. Uh, also, DPW scores the landscaping uh, finished up. Uh, has done the second round of the roadside mowing. We've had some, was dry spring, but this summer has been pretty wet, as we all know. I've roads almost like closing up one baby's road and all the country roads and stuff, so we're taking care of them. Uh, the, flat, the grass collection and the yard debris, three dumpsters, uh, yard debris, and one dumpster of grass that were moved from that uh, program. Uh, the drainage issue behind Daniel uh, Drive Home, the uh, materials are ordered, so once they're in, I can schedule the work and get, get a drain in there to help drain that. Uh, the last week or so, we've been out there and watched the rain and stuff, and there is a significant pond in there. That topsoil, all that topsoil, if we put topsoil in there, it's going to push it into their yards because the depth and stuff works out. So a uh, uh, yard drain running it off into the swale is going to be the best bet for that. Um, also worked with a couple of municipalities, uh, Blackland and Colorado, in our shared service deal, along with, uh, as they help us pave roads and stuff, um, some oil and chip from Franklin and sweep them in Colorado. Um, we had some pretty bad uh, sinkholes, Walter Way, repair, and, and, uh, and Rick Line Road, a large uh, hole where the moisture is coming up through the ground. And uh, also with Community Day set, are we back with uh, townwide yard sale October 6th and township cleanup I have scheduled for the 12th and 13th of October? I'm sorry, not all. I was so sorry. I reached out to Greg. I told him the, that we're going back, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, so we can get that one passed calendar and have that yeah. all set up. Yep. Okay. Um, and then Thomas Store Park, um, as, as some of you have seen, that long, tall, dead stuff there, DPW was able to pack that down, and our guy that's been doing the mowing has added that into keeping it low, so when we do go to get that grass seeded, they'll be able to do the tilling work and put the, uh, put the grass seed in there. So that's probably what within a month or so. Yep. We're probably going to take care of that. Um, on there, up. I have the path paper, wasn't available, so forth and so on. But a time came available, and the last two days, DPW has been out there. The path is done through school. Uh, we went, got into the park, and what was left is 90% of it's done. We got about four hours of work tomorrow. Awesome. The path will be fully paved. That's great. In the park. Great. We're down by the concession stand. We've got that little bit to do there. 
and then uh, save the energy, uh, save the toughest pork to last. <laughs> so, um, so that'll be taken care of. Of course, we've been doing some uh, getting into the maintenance program. Wait, we spraying the, the stone parking lots. That's been done three times this year so far. Um, the, of course, the electrical conduit we helped. We had Russell Reed there. We did that, and we worked with JCP and L today to get the transformer box raised and in place and landscaped around it, uh, put some dirt around it, and then uh, the contractor, Samson, took care of the rest of all of that. And um, that's pretty much it, except for the potable water line at the DPW, we did the covering, and I got it rough covered right now, just need some dressing up, and then we got to make the city with seating, or we're going to have the seating contractor to take care of that. Yeah, just to add to what Joe was saying, the, D, the DPW has done an amazing job in helping with the park. You know, I mean, as Joe, as DPW does a good job with the whole town, but specifically we're trying to get this park done on time and everything. Um, fantastic job, Joe. So thank you. Thank you. Good, thanks, Joe. We know we throw whammies into your schedule all the time. <laughs> and we know we throw whammies into your schedule all the time yeah. with these things. I, I, I have to get on that as well. Terry's done a great job. Joe, what do you want? Any advertisement for the part-time employee, or do you want to try to promote from the thing? Uh, uh, well, maybe I'd like to hold that until I did have a discussion with him until the executive session, um, but we're probably going to have to do that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just want to say, Joe, uh, I said it last meeting, but thank you for all the contributions you made to the park. And yesterday, I actually did drive up to the school, so I. I was, Interested to see how far you guys got. And I was like, wow, it was pretty much the whole thing was done. It looks really good, so thank you. Thank you. Great job. Well, you want to make a motion? Accept it. Any yeah, motion? Accept it. Second. Oh, okay. All uh, roll call. Yes. 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 Okay. Court report. Um, I'd like to table the court report only because I see an error in it, and I wish I'd have seen it earlier. I would have called. Um, I do not know why, but Pohacon Township did not take their share of the fines that are distributed this month. <laughs> well, I, uh, yeah, I thought about it, but I was like, sooner or later it's going to come out in the laundry. Uh, so uh, I'd like to table the court report until next meeting, please. Okay. Animal control report? Uh, they had 13 calls. I see 13 calls last month. These cats, dogs. Uh, made a motion to accept the report. Okay. Uh, somebody, somebody lost a peacock? Yeah. Am I reading that right? Yeah. <laughs> it was a lost peacock. It was a peacock. Okay. Okay. okay, so they make a motion to accept the animal control report. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Anybody have any committee reports? Um, Hello, is there anything to bring up that we haven't discussed on the... Uh, I just got a couple of quick things. Um, we talked about communicating. Just something for us to consider. We don't decide on that yeah. right now, but you might want to consider utilizing Twitter also. A lot of towns do that to get quick information out. You might want to look into it. Keep it in mind. I don't even have a Twitter account. <laughs> Um, my age, my age. <laughs> I do have Facebook. Swift 911 is what the county is using right now for mass communications. Yeah. Well, that's an emergency, though, right? Same thing like that. Oh. All right, well, we can just the thought. What was that, Will? Swift 911. Oh, okay. I don't know what that is. It's a big advertising billboard out there. Take a look. Um, yeah, it's just like three days, the okay. 20th. We're still on for the 20th. Hey, um, hey, yeah. I have a question on community day. Yes. I know that we had talked about having some kind of additional celebration of fireworks or something. Is that <laughs> yeah, so that's still or not on the table? Well, all comes down to dollars and cents, like everything else. Um, so it's on the table if we can get a, if we can get a sponsor. Let's put it that way. If we don't get a sponsor, um, I don't see the, the money's not in the budget, right? Budget's not going to cover it. So um, we would have to make a decision if we want to spend it. I don't know, but what I'd like to do is, and whoever wants to come with me, um, start soliciting um, 
donations for this. This is a one-time event, obviously. This is not just any community day. It's the opening of Thomas Stewart Park. So I'm hoping we can get some good sponsorship for this to offset a lot of the costs. So depending on what we do there, but we don't have a lot of time. So um, it'd be nice if maybe the mayor and myself visited a few businesses. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not good at that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, if anybody here would like to, if there were anybody on the town committee would like to volunteer and uh, come with me to, to knock on a few doors, um, let me know. Because I'm willing to go hit the pavement and see what we can get. Brad? Yep. <laughs> I brought it up. I brought it up. Um, I, as long as it's on, is, is it an option? I know there's it's some up, concerns. That's listen, it's an option if we want to make it an option, right? <laughs> it's not my call. I don't want to put Joe on the spot. Are you... Is it a oh, no, Joe doesn't want it as an option, right? You don't think fireworks is a good idea? I know from the uh, fireworks. Uh, I, would, uh, I would suggest that I got to evaluate manpower, how deeply involved we are with community day well, that's for this day that's true. compared to that night. You know, I might have to, we just might have to step back on what we do during the day there so I have enough people for the there's other things we can do a laser show too. We can put that up, you know. And Both of them. Along those lines with fireworks, just not only the fireworks people, but they have to pull permits locally and stuff too to have that event through our Bureau of Fire Prevention and stuff. So with that has to be planned. So that needs to cut your time a little shorter. You've got about a week permitting time for to have that stuff. And they have that ready to go. We have the rises here again? Yeah. Yeah, paperwork. paperwork for background checks. Oh yeah, we're gonna get that all done. How how much uh, leeway time you need for that background checks? Uh, if you give me two weeks, I'll get it done. I would prefer if you gave me three weeks. All right. The only reason is because if something comes up, yep. I gotta put my detective on something that's. Yeah, this is for the ride operators. In case anybody's wondering. Um, I mean, he he can well have it done maybe in. in a couple days or a week, but... No, three weeks is fine. we got plenty of time. I'll try to get it to you as soon as I can. I already asked to get that information. So, um, so anyway, we got to look into whether or not we can afford them. Okay. Um, so I guess that's all to be determined. Anybody out there have any connections, any local businesses that want to sponsor the opening of Thomas Stewart Park, let us know. Um, was that... <laughs> uh, seven to ten if we wanted to do laser I think it was seven Brad Can you get me that name? I, I we'll contact them. All right. All right, thanks. Yeah, we'll take a look. We had three. We're thinking around seven. I figured <laughs> ten. He's figuring ten. But we have other options. We don't have to do fireworks. Yeah. We could do a laser show as another option. Same price, right? No, I think the laser's a little cheaper, right? But I'm glad, glad I got a quote around seven. Yeah, like 7,500 bucks. Yeah. Although that was the other thing. Okay, so that's community day. Um, um, oh, did we we gonna talk about the, about the lease things in the executive or? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, that's it. Anyone else? Hi. I just as a, an update as it relates to the school, I just wanted to recognize. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys know Stephanie Snyder. She's the principal at the middle school. She is. Uh, she's been the principal there for I want to say eight years now, eight or nine years. Yeah, been it's been a long time. Um, She's moving on. She is going to be a superintendent, I think, at Holland. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Holland yeah, sure. So just wanted to acknowledge uh, all the great contributions that Stephanie has given to our, our school district and really want to wish her the best of luck here at, at Holland Township. And I know the school board's doing a, an active search now for a new principal, so uh, we'll probably hear that soon. So next week. All right, next week. So thank you to Stephanie for uh, Really being a great partner in the principal part of the district. I echo that.
Anybody else? Mike? Okay. Um, just as a passing comment again, just to kind of continue to plant the seed, we've got no plans for the $250,000 that you guys budgeted for the roadway improvement because we're trying to work straight all this stuff with the water main project. <coughs> and of course, Stewartsville Road, we got the DOT grant for that. We have 155000 so there's $400,000 sitting there, and obviously 155 specifically here, Mark. Uh, and, you know, realistically, they're probably not going to be paid in those roads and what, the, the one of the main impacted roads until next year, the way it's looking. So, so just, uh, I mean, that's, that's, it is what it is. If, there's, if you want to use the 250 this year, or instead of waiting for if you guys are able to budget another 250 for next year, and kind of you know then you'd be able to get a lot more done, of course, uh, obviously. So this the options, just keep it in mind, it's out there, and it's not. There's no intent to use it right now. So Wait, can you just take a step back? So you said the the water main roads, they're not going to pay till the next year. So well, the gentleman who was speaking there about the, the rough paths, is that going to stay like that the next year then? If it is, that would probably pick a final bridge. The well, because I was just, I think when we were saying they were going to repay that, I think he might have thought it was going to be. Well, I said that he's then they got to finish the, the the mains, and they got to do all the services. So. So it's next. But you're looking at not having that road repaid till. Well, I mean, you, you, if you repaid the road down, you're going to bring in back hose and everything else to get up the property. Well, I'm not saying to do it. I'm just yeah. saying yeah. just to let. The expectations know that uh, you know it's going to be like that for a little while. Well, that well, if you want to kind of play it safe, that'd be the smart thing to do. I mean, I, I don't let drive it over it either. I yeah. sour the, the the trench when I drive. I I get where he's coming from, but okay. Uh, okay, the <laughs> the water main project. Um, most of the pay setters have been done now. Uh, the work that the Herlin's done, they're coming down World Road. They're going to be making, they're going to be going to Washington Street soon. <clears throat> There's been a lot of meetings, a lot of discussions recently relative to the closure of Washington Street. And we checked with Chief Homer, Chief Mexi, Chuck Purcell, and the school to, uh, to make sure, and if all emergency vehicles will be let through, and buses as, as well, but it stops, because that road is just too difficult for them to do, continue to use the alternating traffic as uh, the police have been orchestrating to date, and it saves basically a week of time. It, it takes being out there two weeks to the one week. So, in, in the best interest of the project, that probably was going to happen, which will the signs are going to be going up relatively soon. The, the notification signs of the upcoming people. So, uh, otherwise, it's projects moving along. Obviously, they're getting they're going to be out here in about three plus weeks, and that's going to be problematic when they're when they're right out here on Green Street. Uh, clearly, will be some traffic issues and. And uh, I don't, they're not planning on doing a road closure on that at the moment. <coughs> but but no. Thank you. Well, well if I recall, Mike, didn't they say that they were going to keep the bridge single lane for at least three weeks? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. yeah. yeah. So it's going to be, well, as they say, all in the name of progress, I guess, or however you want to look at it. So, okay. <coughs> any, any projects? Questions about the project? Mark. Obviously, we're going to talk about the, the bill because that was just actually sent out today, and and I sent it in my email, but I just got that a few days ago, so, um, I mean, I never want to give you guys that stuff <coughs> like, like happened today. Um, I talked to the seating and landscaping contractors. They're, they're on board. They're poised to get started in, uh, you know, kind of within about a month or so. Uh, so that's in line. Um, just in case anybody's interested, that power converter we needed in the uh, <coughs> stand is installed, got it done. Uh, 
like I said, the DPW has done, done a great job. And, I think, and the pavilion bid. The pavilion bid went out again uh, and threw input from a number of people. People thought it should be out for a longer period of time. So now the bid opening is, is until October the 2nd or no, October, uh, sometime in early October. So it's going to be out to bid for like a good month and a half. So we'll see what happens come October. And that, uh, that would conclude my report other than well, one last thing. The 2019 DOT, DOT grant applications have come out. They are due in October. Uh, yeah, typically we make applications. We've already been awarded a grant last year, which we're, we're not exercising at the moment. We'll, we'll have to Stewartsville Road will be done next year. Um, but as we have for many years now, we've always put in applications. We've got other applicants we can put in. So I would ask you if you, uh, you want to put in an application under the 2019 program um, that you authorize us to do so, work with Joe. I would say uh, we probably do do want road again. The, Obviously, we surfaced a couple of years ago. That's, um, that's been a candidate uh, for the last couple of years. So, um, but is that the section on the other side for the target? No. It's, it's, the, it's the section from next to the next to you know, right away the way, uh, on Home Depot. Yeah, Home Depot. Yeah, the, one the that down, right? We did the research <laughs> last time. We didn't go all the way to Green Street. We didn't have enough money. So we had to go up to like, the Hamilton intersection. So it's basically Not the other side. No. No. I was going to say that. Yeah. My, my, just out of my own curiosity, can we ask for grant money, you know, to help with the other half of pay setters? Because the, the Rio Tinto is only doing half. Of the road, are they eligible, or are there are only certain roads that are eligible? I mean, because last time we chatted, it was two and a half million dollars to pay the other half. Okay, you I mean, know, that's, so that's years. Normally, a road like that, a subdivision street, not so good. Volume, okay. It's a very, very, very bad candidate. Right. Okay. Like it, you're just wasting your your time paying us. No, no, no. Well, that's what I wanted to know. Right, right. It's just unfortunately what it's, it's needed. Um, and we're going to go down swinging with, with when it comes to resurfacing with those guys. Trust me. They've already, we've got committed on a number of areas to do full width because of the damage that they've done to the road. Okay. So, not everywhere, but a lot better than what the plane is showing. Okay. And that would include my report. Okay. Thanks, Mike. That's all. Do you have anything, Mike? Uh, my, uh, okay. Old business? Anybody have any old business you want to bring up? New business? We have some resolutions. We can do these all as a block, right? One motion for all the resolutions? Okay. Resolution 2018-63 is the extension of third quarter uh, property tax grace period. Resolution 2018-64 is a resolution authorizing redemption of tax liens. Resolution 2018-65 is a resolution authorizing items to be sold at county auction or disposed of. Resolution 2018-66 off-premise draw, uh, raffle drawing, uh, that's for the rec, I think. Resolution 2018-67 establishing a petty cash fund. What is that one? Establishing a petty cash fund. What's uh, no, actually, packaging? Uh, yes, that's of course. Go ahead, please. Number 63, just to clarify, you guys did one last month, but then they had to extend. Raffle, we have to redo that because he's a cash switch. Oh, okay. We have to resubmit. And the petty cash um, fund one is just to have a $100 petty cash fund um, for the clerk's office for the Indiana Jamie people, you know, paper dog license or something like that. Just depends. Do you want to add that? Do you recreation fund? Yes, recreation for the community day. They do it all the time. We're doing one now. The lawnmower. Yeah, that's so it's the same one. They had the same one. They had the same one. Because it had the six. So now it's the 20th. Okay, I'm looking for a motion to uh, adopt these resolutions. Motion. Second. 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 Second.
Do you want a second? I'll second. Any questions, comments, discussions, or any that you don't want to you want to take it off the list? Roll call. Yes. 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 Townwide communication okay. email blast. Now, right. I, I had uh, Lisa print from uh, John Paul uh, some information. I asked him a month ago to look in to see what it would uh, take to set up some type of emailing system that would be controlled internally here, um, you know, be it minutes or whatever, something that we could just send out. Um, I'm not too tech savvy, but the two websites are down there. He recommended what it looked like. But the, one of the bottom lines is the cost to put out 5,000 to 6,000 emails is 50 bucks. Who charges that? Uh, Who charges that? The company charges that? Yeah, the, there's a, 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 a company that would be handling the email account per se. Um, and one of the things that we're working on, uh, and another resident here in town is also working on it, one of the things that John Paul is looking into, because I thought it would be an enormous job to input everybody's email, um, that site will allow, through our website, I believe, to input their own email so that we don't have to do it. If they want to get an email blast, uh, they can come to the website and sign up for it, and we can use that email blast for town information, any information, to be perfectly yeah. honest. You might want to talk to Pam. And plus, she met the girl down there that does all that stuff, too. Well, it could be. Like I, said, I just went to John Paul. I'm not an IT guy. He's a currently our IT guy. And I said, hey, what's out there? So you all got some paperwork on it? You take you a look. Know, take a look. I mean, because this is completely out of my range. Gotcha. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm thinking, well, hey, Twitter sounds like a good idea, too. But, you know, I, uh, you know. But again, I think this could be, you know, uh, unfortunately, it would put something on the, the clerk and department heads, I think, to to write something up on a monthly basis just to keep yeah. people informed. And the only reason I mentioned uh, Twitter, I know, you know Hellertown and PA, right. they, they have it. So I'm on Twitter, I, I see they keep they send stuff. Well, no, well, I, 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 at this stage <laughs> of the game, I think is <laughs> almost well, I think everything out, all yeah, inclusive, yeah, yeah. is going to be better. And, you know, we've all got hung out here recently, so. <laughs> More and probably better. Oh, yeah. Anybody that signs up for that blast email, that then subjects that email address to open. So if somebody opens it, we have to provide that. So we're just going to have to, if, we, if you do something, we just have to let people know that when they provide that email for that blast, that if somebody opens it, they're not going to have to email. Gotcha. What's that mixer thing that we have there now? Where they put their name? Do we have something there right now? Yeah. It's like an emergency broadcast. No, I, yeah, I, well, like I said, that's going to be for all the IT people. We already to have something out, on the website. But I wanted to get the information where out people there. people put this mixer. Look at it. We probably do, yeah. We do. We have mixer right now. As long as you have that, you know, just so doesn't. I don't know that we have that disclaimer on there now. The mixer is the one that they were trying to get. The mixer is not. It's just for alerts. I don't know. Did that come up for renewal? We had that question. Yeah. Same thing. It's an email address, right? It's an email address that they put in. It's a text. Oh, it's a text? It's not an email address? It's a phone number? You text it. Well, that might be an issue. Yeah. It's on the website. I mean, it's on our website. It shows which ones you can sign up through. Right. So, I, mean, I think once you do that, though, if somebody wants to then solicit or, you know, they submit it over, it wants to become the information, we have to provide it. We can't pick and choose. Yeah, but I don't think anything's going on that other than emergency alerts. Right? I don't think you've had anything. I, I know we have gotten one three But I think what Mike's point is, if you use it for one notification, somebody's number on it, it gets opened. Their yeah, phone's going to be on it. It's a third party, and that's why I think this email would be through a third party. <coughs> it would be done through us. So. I'm not just making this up. I'm telling you. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. This has happened before. <laughs> Okay. We're done on the email blast? Yep, we're done. Okay. Uh, Storchville Fire Company, three membership applications, John Schmidt, Fellner Seamus, and Nicholas Swingle. I guess they're all, uh, you recommending them all, Joe? Yes, except for Fellner Seamus. Mm -hmm. Reverse it. 
James Strowner? Okay. I'm only going the way I'm reading, the way I see it. Okay. I'll make a motion we accept them as members of the fire company. I'll second. Any questions, comments, discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Correspondence? We do have that one email, Mike, that I had forwarded to you. Uh, we can be able to help them out, or how do, how do we uh, handle yeah, that? Pass some pictures around. Here's some pictures that were sent to me in one of the original emails that this gentleman sent to me and a couple people through the association, which I basically said, I can't just go out and help you. This is a, okay. This is in Greenwich Chase behind Jackson. Yes. Yeah, I've been. They've asked me to come out and look at it too. So I've, I've looked at it in the past. They want my opinion, I, I guess, as the council engineer. Uh, and I've helped them in the past on other things. This is over many years now. Um, but I basically told this guy, Gary Hunter, really was this? with the association, this is Fran. Fran, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see how I can yeah. So, Mike, could you tell us what they were asking first? What was the. What they was they were asking, they, got, they have a drainage problem, and they want some recommendations how to solve it. Oh, that's behind the houses? That's, yeah. Yeah, that's behind. It's in, that's in that little open area off behind Jackson where it's, you know, it's kind of grass. And tell, tell, them, tell them to come down behind my house. You're going to see the pond also. So, I got two fences to put quick, got, quick, Quickly, I, I wasn't going to just go out and do it. As I said, you really need the committee's approval. They got in touch with Mayor Bob, who got in touch with me, and you got put on each end. So it's the bottom line is you is want all three people out. Is it common area? It's, it's a common area. Common area. It, it's some of it's, it's a common, common area. area. Some of it's in the back there yard. If you look at those pictures, that's the common area. And to be honest, I'm, and, and if we prove Mike, I'd be really curious because I've already given them the solution. <laughs> you know, but apparently they I weren't interested. That's the common area, right? Because it might be before the common area. Well, well it, it, it starts before. It, it's, it's not down to your property. Yeah. No, that's yeah, that's it's true. It's HOA problem. It is an HOA. Right. Some private and some HOA. And yes. I did talk to also Tanya Siegel on the separate matter. They sort of are you. Yes. Now. Yeah, so if, if it's common area in Greenwich Chase, then it's the homeowners association responsibility to fix it. Yep. That's and the answer. Exactly. And under okay. the category of no good deed goes unpunished, I have. One of these going on in every town I represent where the town went in and tried to help, and it's not their property, and then we end up getting sued 15 years later because it didn't work. And even though we had signed uh, recorded documents that said it's not our property, which is a one time fix, we're just trying to help them out, and then, so. Okay. So they might hire you privately. So, Mike, you volunteered to help. Lisa yeah, and with that saying, like, like that. My, my <laughs> advice was from my company. It wasn't a town advice. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, it was that's fine. right. I'm just saying that if we, if whatever my, listen, we always want to help out. I yeah, yeah. yeah. Come yep. where we can. But before we take any action and do anything out there, I just want to make sure that. Okay. Well, like I, I said, said, because I live in the Greenwich Chase for eight years, and I have water in my backyard all the time, and. Well, Mike volunteered it's it's to, Mike, Mike to, care. to help Lisa draft the response to the association, so we're good with that. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, looking for a motion to open public comment again. Uh, I make the motion. Anybody want a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Anybody who hung around want to talk? <laughs> About the bridge here, this going to be closed for three weeks. Is that going to be 24 hours, or is that just going to be during the day? Well, not closed. You said it will be one lane. One lane. Is that going to be all the time, even at night, or just during the day? It'll be at night, right, Mike? It's yeah, it's 24/7. They, once they open that bridge up, it's got to stay open until they do all the hookups and the piping. And the, and the detour for Washington Street. That's going to be uh, just for the one week. So that will just be closed completely. Right. And then you have to Correct. go around like outside. Well, yeah, North Main 57 right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. That's just during work hours, though, right? Washington Street. Oh, yeah. 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 Washington, 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 Washington Street is only during work hours. Right. During work hours. They will open the other side. Yeah, I'm sorry. If I, did, if I said that back on okay. Okay. Right. But there'll be somebody out there during the day, though. It's going to be one lane directing, but just like late at night. Because I go that way sometimes at 4.30 in the morning, so there'll be nobody directing, is what you're saying. Yeah, it's going to be on an honor system to stop and go. Yeah, okay, yeah. But during the day, like going 
Well, I'm not even sure during the day they're going to have somebody there. I think it's going to say a sign that says one lane. No, no. Mm -hmm. I thought we already talked about that. They're going to, oh, okay. they're going to hire yeah. 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 Yeah.
All in favor? Aye. Aye. Now, we have a motion for Mike to. Do you need to know roadways identified to do the application? No, no. <coughs> Between me and Joe, we, we relay that to you. We're the ones that choose the candidates. There's already an application prepared that's been submitted, which is the, uh, like I said, the other section of Dumont Road, north side of Greenwich. Uh, so that's, that's an easy one. I mean, to resubmit that is, you know, it's already done. You know, a little bit of administrative work and so forth. So if you want to do a second candidate, which I never wouldn't necessarily recommend because already we, we, we already have their stewards for road months. So they're <coughs> slim. We're going to get to them. So. I think we probably shouldn't do it. Well, no, we so should at least do the one that's already done. Resubmit for Dumont. Yeah, yeah. Resubmit. Okay. That's what I would recommend. Anybody want to make the motion? I'll make it. I'll second it. Any questions, comments, discussion? Roll call. Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you. I'll coordinate with Lisa on any resolutions that are necessary. So. Okay. Now I guess we're going to go to public. I mean, executive session. So. Uh, anyone anyway, make a motion to go into executive session? Motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Thanks for coming if you're not going to wait around. Good night. The most boring part of the night. <laughs> uh, thanks. I really didn't need it once you gave me the answer. Here. That way, you, I'm not handing anything out. You didn't even get Damn. Okay. We're good? Shutting down? Sorry, he missed four times. He was uh, actually. We're going to miss him tomorrow, uh, Mike Lavery? No. Uh, Can't make it, huh? I screwed up my schedule. I'll see you. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. We're back. Where's the Did you get back? We're back on, Lisa? Architect. Yes. Okay. Um, I make a motion to come out of executive session. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Mike, your spiel. Yes, yeah, so we merge to an executive session at 10 18 p.m. where we discuss a potential engagement matter dealing with a land use board escrow, a contractual matter dealing with Samson Bill, a personnel matter dealing with DPW part time position, as well as tax assessor position. Uh, we discuss a contractual matter dealing with farm leases and the DDP inspection. And an attorney client privilege matter dealing with the historic commission. We're looking for a motion to authorize the clerks to put uh, advertise for a part time DPW position and the tax assessor's position on the League of Municipalities website and uh, the clerk's website. I make a motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And we're looking for a motion to pay Sampson excavation. Uh, yes. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to pay uh, Samson's uh, uh, current bill on the bill's list. Anybody want a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Right. Um, motion to adjourn, anyone? We, I, we got I, one nay oh. on that picture recorded. Oh. Um, I thought you were. Wait, wait. Can we just no, talk about uh, oh. minutes for a second? Uh, I talked to Kathleen, so she's got the March 15th meeting, then it's still open, and her assistant from White is going to be covering those up. Okay. I went out on the website, and that's the question I have, is I don't see minutes for January 18th. Do, do we have minutes for January 18th? Yeah. Right. <clears throat> and then we have, like, a couple of other special meetings, the 16th of February and April 6th. I didn't see linked on there either. So I just want to make sure that all those past months are covered. I know Kathleen's got... March 15th on cover, but the ones that I didn't see out there were January 18th, February 16th, which is a budget meeting, and April 6th, which I believe is a special meeting. So I just want to see if we have those written up anywhere. I doubt the April 6th one is, but um, I was surprised if January 1 wasn't out there because that was the first meeting. Okay. The most, oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I just need to get out there because they're kind of. Yeah, the Samson bill, I did the vote. I think Will wanted to abstain, not actually vote no. I, I did record it. Okay, I just want to make sure. Motion recording no. Is it abstain? Abstain. abstain? You want to do a roll call? You want to do a go over? You want to do a roll call? Or is it? Yeah, I'll do a roll call. Okay. 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 Okay
Do you want to do a roll call on it? Sure. Right. Can we redo it? Well, do we have to redo it? I have it? a motion by Paul. Okay. And a second uh, from Brad. Because oh, I think it, it's that would be in the Okay. Anybody have anything else? Nope. Anyone want to make a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. All in favor? All right. Thank you. Frank, that was a